Next is 135. This is um, Myrica Californica, the Pacific Wax Myrtle. So I come from North Carolina and we have uh, the native uh, Myrica cerifera, a native to the southeast, which is the wax myrtle, and this is a, uh, a close relative. So it looks quite similar. It has a sort of coarse uh, serration, generally on the upper half of the margins. You see some, uh, some glands on uh, Myrica californica, but it's not nearly as, um, as resinous, as covered in these uh, waxy glands as you see in uh, Myrica uh, cerifera. So Myrica californica, being native to the uh, uh, west coast, it is actually uh, not as cold hardy. So we got down to zero here on campus, and I'm actually standing in a really quite protected area. Uh, and this is the only uh, part of this shrub that, that came back. These were about 15 feet last year uh, and got killed completely to the ground, so they just came back from their roots. Uh, and so this is the growth that we had over one year. My observation on uh, Myrica californica has also been that you see less of the fruit on them, uh, at least in, in my, again, my exposure to these guys compared to Myrica, Calif or, uh, Myrica cerecifera. So I, I think it's actually an inferior plant. I uh, don't think it'll hold, the, hold up in the, um, the heat and the humidity uh, like Myrica uh, cerecifera does. It doesn't have the resinous glands and it doesn't have the attractive fruit. So, uh, but nonetheless, it is native to the West Coast and this is uh, Myrica californica.